What's up everyone? If you live in Australia, New Zealand or the UK, then you might have heard the term zip pay or zip money. What are those? In this video we'll explore both the services. So let's get started. Of course zip pay and zip money are used for buy now pay later, just like afterpay. But compared to afterpay, zip offers more extended features. Let's break each service down. Zip pay offers a credit limit of in between a hundred bucks to a thousand bucks. You can use zip pay in three ways. Number one, online on many websites. While checking out, there's an option called zip pay. Just click on that option and the website will redirect to the zip website where you can log in and purchase. Number two, in store. Just like after pay, zip pay offers to generate a barcode which cashier scans and then the transaction goes from there. Number three, B pay. Here in Australia, there's a service called BPay, which can be used to pay the utility bills. BPay can also be used to pay your university fee and your fines. Well, Zip supports that, which is good, but there's some grey area. When you BPay with your bank account, you are not overcharged. For example, if the amount is $150, you only pay $150. But with ZipPay, it's different. Zip charges $2.5 on every BPay transaction. They used to charge more. It used to be dependent on the amount you spend. But now they only charge $2.50 on each transaction. Anyway, it doesn't support all the companies as your bank account. But it supports all the major brands in Australia. When you spend on something, the minimum amount is $40 per month. You can pay weekly, fortnightly and monthly. And if you want to boost, then you can pay additional in the app. So how does ZipPay earns from us? Well. Until you don't clear your debts, you will be paying $6 monthly fee. Anyway, let's talk about zip money. Zip money is like zip pay, but it's more complicated because you pay $6 monthly fee as well as interest. Zip money is used for big purchases. For example, your DSLR, your mobile phone, your laptop, etc. That's why zip money offers the credit of in between 1000 and 5000. Again, you will be charged $2.5 of fee if you BPay. Now the interest rate part is a bit complicated because on some BPay, you don't have to pay any interest forever. Well, on many purchases, you pay interest after three months. So if you purchase something on a website, then for three months, you won't pay any interest. And if you can't clear your debts within three months, then you will be paying interest on whatever is left. Regarding the monthly limit, with ZipPay, you have to pay $40 per month at least. But with Zip Money, it starts from $40, but depending on the amount you spend, you will be paying more every month. And one more thing, with ZipPay, you don't pay any establishment fee. But with Zip Money, depending on the credit limit you get, you will be paying in between 0 and 100 bucks. So for example, if the credit limit you get is $5,000, most probably you will pay 100 bucks just for the establishment of your account. And if you get a lower amount, of course the fees will be lower. Both also generate a statement which can be found in the app. You can find the account status and the total amount you spend and all the details about your account in the statement. In Zip Money statement, you also find more information about the interest. So that's pretty much all Zip Money and Zip Pay are. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope it helped. Please let me know what you think of both in the comments down below and subscribe for more videos. Thank you and take care.